So that's fantastic. But I want to thank Republicans and Democrats for coming together, setting aside their differences, and putting America first. This legislation provides for direct payments to individuals and unprecedented support to small businesses. We're going to keep our small businesses strong and our big businesses strong. And that's keeping our country strong and our jobs strong. This historic bill includes the following. $300 billion in direct cash payments will be available to every American citizen earning less than $99,000 per year, $3,400 for a typical family of four. So family of four, $3,400. And then $350 billion in job retention loans for small businesses with loan forgiveness available for businesses that continue paying their workers. The workers get paid. Approximately $250 billion in expanded unemployment benefits. The average worker who has lost his or her job will receive 100 percent of their salary for up to four full months. So things like this have never happened in our country. $500 billion in support for hard-hit industries with a ban on corporate stock buybacks. We don't let them buy back the stock. We don't let that happen. And tough limits on executive compensation. Over $100 billion to support our heroic doctors, nurses, and hospitals. And you see what's happening. And I want to thank, while we're here, also the incredible job that's done by the Army Corps of Engineers and by FEMA. It's been incredible. They did four hospitals in two days or three days in New York, and they're, like, incredible structures. What a job they've been doing, and they're doing them all over the country. $45 billion for the Disaster Relief Fund, supporting our state, local, and tribal leaders. $27 billion for the development of vaccines, therapies, and other public health response efforts, including $16 billion to build up the strategic national stockpile with critical stockpiles. And I'm going to — we have uh, tremendous supplies coming into the stockpile, and you'll be seeing that and hearing about it a little bit, because we're doing a, a news conference at 5.30 on what's happening. We've had tremendous uh, results on the respirators. We've had great results on uh, just about everything we're talking about. Uh, now, I'm going to sign this, and it's a great honor. $6.2 trillion. I've never signed anything with a T on it. I don't know if I can handle this one, Mitch. We can't chicken out at this point, can we? I don't think so, huh? All right. Thank you all. But I wanted that to be a nice signature. That was Kevin, Kevin, come on, fellas, come on over here, Elaine.